Alrighty, what is up boys? I, uh, can say I have, haven't made a fucking video on YouTube in a pretty nice time, amount of time, so we're gonna do uh, quite a few new videos coming out this year. So, first one is gonna be something I've wanted to learn for ages and recently figured out, aka like 10 minutes ago, um, is how people make vehicle wheel packs, basically. So, how you can go into V menu, Lambda, Simple Trainer, etc. And set wheels to certain specifications, aka okay, off road muscle, etc. That's what I want to figure out. So, we figured it out. It is really simple to do. So, all you want to do is grab your wheel and rim, whatever you want. So, I'm going to put this as a off road rim. Simple as that. So, we're going to come here for starters up to our texture browser. These are our textures. So if you just have them like this, they're not going to work. So you're going to have to embed your textures into the wheel. Go up here, click new group. Then we're going to name this group specifically what we're going to have the wheel as. I'm going to call it wheel underscore off underscore 01 dot YDR. Make sure it has the dot YDR because if it does not, it's not going to work. Then just select all your textures here. Drag them here. You can see they're here. Boom. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off pivot. And we're just going to move this. Yeah, it's probably a fucking easy way, but bite me. Uh, let's just make sure the axes are set properly. We should move this into the center as much as possible. And here too. Alright, good fucking enough. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, we're back. Same position, it's now just working properly. So, once you've moved the axes into, or the wheel into the middle, make sure you go to your display, click this one here, it's gonna center the local axes to the wheel. We've already done that, so that's fine. Deselect it, make sure you've embedded your textures. Now what we're gonna do is name the wheel itself, dot mesh. All right, we're just gonna create two copies like that. You can poly crunch them, do whatever you want, I don't really give a fuck about that. All right, so we're gonna create a dummy up here, turn all these meshes off, and we're gonna name this the specific wheel. So it's gonna be wheel underscore off underscore 01. Make sure it's zero 01 if it's anything below 10. So if it's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you put it to that. So now we just wanna set the parameters for the dummy. You don't really need to do this, but I'm just gonna do it because why the fuck not? So we're just gonna put this to 255. Make sure it's not solid. Then we're just gonna put this to zero, zero, 005. Cool. Click apply. Boom. So that's that done. So now we just want to drag one of these meshes in and then drag these other meshes in that. So to make sure that this wheel right here is the start of an LO, we'd have to click L0, convert to compound. So that's lock that as an L0. Lock L1, then L2, and boom. You're done. Now all you do, copy the name, go to export, paste it, make sure you put .ydr, we export, and as you can see, it would export properly. So now if we just close, don't need to save it, we come to properties, you can see that it's exported. So now we're just gonna stream it like any way you could. So I just put it as a folder I have in my dev server called dev, it's legit just something that says this is a map you don't even need that in your resource lore um, but it's just any file that has stream and a resource lore that's blank and we're just gonna start up our server and I'll be back once we're in game all right we're in game so I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn a random vehicle because I don't really give a shit all right so bison you just come to your modifications then we go to your wheel categories since we put it to off-road we just go to wheel category off-road and as you can see they work in game boom textures are all set properly as you can see when you drive they don't rotate retardedly or anything if they rotate dumb it's because you didn't rotate uh, didn't do your axes properly uh if you have incorrect textures they'll probably come up green or look really dumb etc but yeah that's something really simple to do is make the wheels work in game and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy